Like I said, this is like a scene out of a movie. This is like, you could shoot like a Netflix documentary here, couldn't you? Yeah, what is up from Sam Yacht? So today I'm in the Old Town part of Bangkok. I'm going to be meeting my good friend Gary and he's going to take me for lunch somewhere around here. We're going to do a bit of exploring because this is a really cool area and home to some of the best food here in Bangkok. Now, if you remember the last time Gary took me out for lunch, he took me to eat pig brain soup, which sounds horrible. It was actually delicious and I really enjoyed it. But he assured me we're not going to be eating anything too weird today. But whether I can believe him or not remains to be seen. So this is a really interesting area just near the Samyot MRT station and as you take a walk around here it's cool to see all the old architecture but what you mainly see here is people selling everything that you could imagine the secondhand goods markets selling all sorts of random items and then you've got the street vendors and people walking around selling whatever they could find by the looks of it but this is just a really interesting area to walk around and explore. Just taking a walk through one of these endless markets at the moment it's super interesting to see but Gary's around here somewhere I'm not exactly sure where this place is kind of like a maze but I'm sure I'll find him somewhere there he is there he is yeah I'm late I'm late I'm late, late I'm sorry how are you <laughs> what's going on how are you good you're good, you're good good ready what do you got in store for us all right no pig brain no today. pig brain okay no pig brain today, we're safe guys. no pig brain something delicious though of okay. course awesome let's ready go. yeah let's go Alright guys, so the market in question is called the Krong Tom Market, if I'm saying that correctly, which I'm probably not. But it's on the edge of Chinatown, five minute walk from Sam Yacht MRT station, so super easy to get through. You want to come in the main entrance, which is where the car park is, walk straight through, don't stop. And then you're going to come to this like sort of little alleyway that's undercover, got red and white, it's like an awning on top. Here you're going to find our first stop, which is a Khao Mangai shop, Hainanese chicken rice. Now I know what you're thinking, Hainanese chicken rice I can get anywhere, but this particular one comes with something I've never seen at a chicken rice store. Hi, brown ale. <laughs> Gary's great at Thai. So he's flirting with all the ladies here. I don't know if he's giving his YouTube channel now or his phone number. So, um, I see a lot of people think I speak really good Thai here, yeah, but I clearly don't because I thought I ordered all three different meats on right. one rice and I've ended, we've ended up with three plates of rice all topped with a different whole portion of meat. Right. So. Well, well, you got at the flirting. You had them all okay. laughing and giggling. <laughs> what can I say? All right, mate, let me run you through what we've got here. Buddy. Yeah, please. All right, so Khao Mangai. So, Pinanese chicken rice, right? So, we've got one with the boiled chicken, right? And they've Unless you specify, if you're foreign, they're gonna give you breast with no skin. 
which I don't have a massive problem with, but that is just what I'd rather a leg. I, I prefer breast. Do you like breast? Yeah, yeah a lot of people do. They never seem to get it. Yeah, so if you want it, ok guy, ok guy means okay. like chicken breast, chicken yeah. chest, chicken chest. So we've got that, we've got the fried chicken. Now, this is super, super crispy, guys. This is going to be thighs, and this is going to be really, really juicy. It is super, super crunchy in here. And then we've got the mauled hard, which I mistakenly called hot man maw because I thought it was a cake but it's not even though it is so it's like a giant uh, minced pork pepper garlic uh, some seasoning a little bit of flour and then deep fried so okay. it's I don't know like a meatloaf do you have meatloaf in Australia yeah 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 we have meatloaf. meatloaf it's a it's a meatloaf it's a meatloaf then then this is what well you don't see that in any kalamanga shots you definitely don't usually see this so this is a tom yum so it's like when we say tom yum, we can mean different things. You know the tom yum soup, which is yeah. like milky with the lemongrass and the lime leaves and the prawns and stuff. And then there's kuei tiao tom yum, which is noodle soup, which is spicy and sour, which is this. But then it's also like a hybrid with a chicken noodle soup. So it's quite dark, soy sauce, a little bit sweet, loads of chili, lime juice, on rice noodles. Okay. Let's go. everyday sort of first timer to Bangkok. Probably not gonna come here, are you? No, but you should. <laughs> you should, you definitely should. I mean, have we seen another foreigner here yet? No, not one. Not There's one. none, there are none. Like, I, you see some right around the perimeter because they're lost and they're looking for Chinatown, but <laughs> no one ever comes in it. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Man, we are off to a great start. That's only half of what we're going to be eating today. So just out for a little walk now to try and create a bit of space for the next round. So on your next trip to Bangkok, you must do something like this. Get out and explore these local areas. This is where you find the best food. And if you are coming to Bangkok or coming to Thailand, one thing I definitely recommend doing is getting yourself a VPN. And I personally use and recommend Surfshark, who are the sponsor of today's video. So I'm sure you all know already, I've been using and recommending Surfshark basically since I got out here. I was hacked on public Wi-Fi. I also use it to change the location to get around a lot of streaming services. Don't seem to work here for whatever reason. So you just change the location and you can get around all of that. Now I've got a great promo code you can use. That's Keys1. And that, as I take a look at the website, gives you offerings of up to 80% off, up to three months extra for free. There's great deals on there, so jump onto the website and check that out. I will leave a link to Surfshark and all the information. Everything you need to know is down in the description below. There's also a QR code that you can use. So check out Surfshark and stay safe when you travel. So just near where we had lunch is this super cool building. It honestly looks like something out of a movie in here. It's like super ghetto. I don't know if it's like council housing or provided government housing or something like that. But it's a really interesting walk through here. So I wanted to take Gary to come check it out. Wild. Place, huh? Oh, it's super cool, man. This is a, like I said, this is like a scene out of a movie. This is like you could shoot like a Netflix documentary here, couldn't you? Like, or a Netflix series here. All right, next stop, guys. You're going to come out. There's this little alleyway. Well, it's more of a road, a soy. That way is the train station. If you go that way, you are at the other train station, which is Wat Mung Khan. So we're kind of in the middle. There's a big hospital there. Pretty easy to find. We're gonna go into the second part of the market now. So just come out of the restaurant, turn right, walk across the little soy. Don't get hit by this motorbike. Walk straight through. And this is where Adam was saying uh, all the like motorbike accessories and parts are. Good morning. How's Song Yang, Lehab? 
So the best thing about hanging out with this clown is he knows all the great local spots. <laughs> right now we've come to a sticker shop which also has food. Alright mate, so is there these two you're familiar with? I don't think so. What are what are we? Alright, so we've got fermented rice noodles, fresh or fermented rice noodles. Um, with well, this one is the most common, so nam ya all. And then this one is you've, you've had khao soy in, in yep. Thailand, right? In uh, northern Thailand. So that's the most famous dish for foreigners in northern Thailand. But locals would probably eat this more. So it's a tomato-based uh, broth with bean paste, kind of similar to the sauce we had in the Kalman guy shop, that right. sort of salty taste. And it's called Nam Niao because these are called Dok oh, Niao. Okay, Nam Niao, yeah. you've had it right? I have, yeah. Dok Niao which are uh, red cotton tree flowers. But no one can tell me if the soup is named after them or they are named after the soup. Right. But Thai Bolognese is another name for it, they give it sometimes. Okay. Uh, this one's got a big, another big chicken foot in that you can have. And a load of blood and some tomatoes. <laughs> Alright, we've had to re all right, we've had to reposition ourselves guys. Traffic through here. Traffic in Bangkok where you can't get away from it. Well like, irrespective of the food, which is good. Like just the experience of just coming down to these actually so like you just took me into that building, I've never been in there. Mm -hmm. As I was saying earlier, this is a really cool part of the city. Mm. I love exploring around here. Hundred percent. You could walk around for hours here, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, really. And like don't you find like most I keep saying tourists, obviously I'm nothing against tourists, so I was a tourist once, um, but I'm a tourist when I go to other countries. But like, as you would, most people looking at sort of like on a blog post or on a, on a YouTube video, or a guy, whatever, and they're going to head to Chinatown, just the main bit of Chinatown. They're not going to see anything, right, and yeah. then they're going to go to the palaces. They're not going to see anything in between. But like, really, to get the best experience of Bangkok, in my opinion, is to do this, just to walk around and stuff. Do you know what Absolutely, I mean? Absolutely, yeah. Couldn't agree more. To me. Okay, so the food was awesome, so I'm actually going to buy a little keyring for my motorbike. I had one the same, but it's dying, so... Really? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. No? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely lady, she wouldn't even accept my tip. Thank you. 